and a very good eye to singles. So uh, that is a great resource. A lot of the senior pros helping out the youngsters. So here we go, Catherine Pereno to serve. Let's play pickleball. Seriously, they've lost one time and the first ball goes off the tape over two paddles. That's just not fair, Dave. One, zero, two. Seriously not. Point. And uh, right through center field and it's two nothing. Yeah. Two, zero, two. All right, pickleball All right. gods, that's, that's cleaning it up quickly. All right, they balanced the checkbook right there. They got they got their leg court, they gave their leg court. So now let's see what Buckner and Wang do. Stink on the usually reliable two-handed backhand, so uh, quickly tie three, this two, up one. at two. There's Paul Olin staring through that big beard of his. Oh, that's just a gorgeous angle. That, that was so shallow in the kitchen too, Blaine. That's a joke of an angle right there. I mean, that's a great jump from three, Anna two, Lee two. to hit that shallow of an angle off of that ball. Tries to fire back through center again, and it hits the tape. And uh, nice confidence booster for Wong and Buckner Three, to have an early lead. And right off the bat, Wong's been pretty aggressive. I've seen her hit a couple drives. She had a drop there. But I think her being aggressive, trying to really crash and be big is going to be a big factor of this match. Pushes Anna Lee back at an angle and misses, so second chance to tie it up. A little unfortunate there. I think Wong reached a little too far there for that ball, but we'll see if she can come up with the goods later in the match. That was a field goal from Catherine Parento. <laughs> yeah, the uh, dreaded, I'm hoping it goes down the middle again, and it most certainly did not. Four, three, two. I can't overrule that. I did think that it? caught the sideline. There was a question, and Anisha Point. Smith said, I can't overrule that. If you don't make a call, you can challenge the presumed in call. If you called it either way, then that's over. So off the tape, let's see what we see. Really that close in the shadow. That's a great flick there from Catherine Parento. I mean, that dink was just a tad high from Wong, but Catherine's reaching in. So the cream of the crop is Anna Lee Waters and Catherine Parento, and they are rolling here. Great poach there from Anna Lee Waters. I mean, I think that's the key factor of their success is just her being so offensive. She sees anything high in the middle. Wow, great job by Zoe Wong right there. My goodness. Way to, way to be ready in those fast hands. Three, seven, one. Second, sir. A little deception there from Catherine Parento. I think 
all of us thought she was going to go middle or maybe cross court, and she went right behind Where's Zoe. Couple times, a little too much of a reach in from Wong. Look at the lettuce on my man with the dad shirt back there. Well done, sir. Deep. There he is. Yes, sir. Week away from Father's Day, so bring that back out next Sunday. Look at that flow of that yes. hair, too. I mean, that's Thor looking right there. And that is, he's got to have just some of the best hair product of anybody. Oh, it trickles over. And you saw Brooks in. I'm all over that. And it's tough when we saw it in the men's match earlier, trying to work Not out everyone. partnerships. Oh, yeah. in, in new partnerships, dinking middle is definitely a huge strategy because it makes them fight for that Not middle ball because it's not clear who's going to take it. Really good pressure from Buckner and Wong from the start of the rally there. So they've dropped seven points in a row. Let's see if they can find a little of that fire that they had the first time they served. Second serve. Just the spots are perfect. I mean, they're, they're hitting their spots and targets almost every time right now. And that you see it in the scoreline. It's showing it's they're being effective with it and they're getting the ball back quick, Nine, three, not one. letting. Fight and then a miss dink, and we are at game point for Catherine and Anna Lee. Oh, yeah, and the firepower from Catherine and Anna Lee has been so far just right on point. Second serve. That Wait. one game sails point. a little long, but that mid middle center field has been pretty open for Wong and Buckner so far, so. That is the right spot for Catherine to go. You gotta move the outfield over to cover that. That was a sitter. You won't see her miss that. Uh-oh, and an ATP that did not go well for Zoe there. So, it was 3-2 Wong and Buckner, and then it wasn't. Our share of uh, medals on the you senior pro. We time. love we playing together. Two. Yeah, that's a scary team right there. <laughs> Side out. 
And uh, we just cannot open up the freebie factory. There's a good look at Paul Olin. Uh, and don't don't sleep on that beard. Zero, that zero, dude one. was a Top Gun fighter pilot too. So oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Oh, a L ran out of real estate over there. Great angle on the put away. And it's fun to see the senior pros working with some of the younger players it's happening all over the place two, here. Two, two. Guess what? Zoe Wong's playing center field on that rally. Oh yeah, no, game one center field was a big problem for Buckner and Wong, so it's smart someone's. I mean, she just dares you. She says, I'm not, I'm not fooling you. Full wind up, full send Tui, and she knows it's coming to her forehand. Exactly, she's just like, try me. Let's see what happens. Zero, zero, two. That two-hander is just too good. That angle is a joke. And that's all left hand. So if you're trying to figure out how to hit a two-handed backhand out there, practice hitting left-handed forehands. I know it'll feel awkward, but that is what you need as your foundation. Back and serve. Yeah, sometimes it's even fun. I mean, if it's hard to win, but if you want to play rec game left-handed, yes. it does work on that dink and that two-e. What a rope of a ATP right there from Brooke Buckner. That was a bazooka right there. Zero, zero, one. She just let that travel and then just her pace just was too much for AL. Even start here to game two. And again, Zoe Wong almost was late in the center, but it was there. So she's definitely recognized that pattern. One, zero, one. Second serve. One zero two. Oh, off the tape right goes flying five feet wide. Oh, sir, yes, this is it. I, Sacramento, zero, I love one, it. One. And beautiful Lakers jersey there as well. Just, it is just the BB from BB right there. It is, it just gets on you too fast. I mean, Catherine's like, okay, I'm all right. I'm gonna, oh, I'm defending the wrong side of my body though. That's what happened there. Yeah. No, Brooks' forehand's on fire right now. He saw it on the ATP and just that as well. Starting those hands battles with Catherine Parento is probably not gonna be the winning strategy for Wong. And then if it's what on your shoe you? tops, a full swing, probably not recommended either. Oh, tricky, Ooh. Catherine goes for the full slider there, Blaine. And she fell for it. She sold it, and Wong Two fell one. for it. Hold it, hold it. Damn. And just get that the heck on out of here. And this is a runaway freight train. That is 12 of the last 13 points. Oh yeah, if I'm Wong and Buckner, I'm trying to do anything to stop the most momentum of a train right now. So he's like, don't bring that back here a second time. I know what you've got. 
Oh, once you see a one, she's like, that's enough. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. One, three, one. Second serve. Just relentless in the middle of the court one, attacks. Three, Unfortunate leg court right there, but goes Wong Buckner's way. They're not going to be too upset two, about that. Three, nope, that is a sorry, not sorry at all. Two, three, two. So if you hit a high third like that, don't take a step forward, folks. Yeah. Retreat. Take that step yes. actually back because. Taking a step back will give you an extra second to react and get your paddle face low. Three, two, I'd say b at least hit thigh level. Second serve. Yeah, the ge general rule of thumb, if your opponent, it's a seesaw. If your opponent's paddle is up high, you Three, better two, put two. yours low and vice versa. Wide. So there have been opportunities, despite the one-sided score in game number one, that Four, two, two. these balls just have to be made against this opponent. There you go. There we nice. go. But I think that's also what's so daunting about this score line. It's also just their resume. I said earlier, it's you think you have to be perfect because they only have one loss on their resume. Find that left foot. There's Athena Truyo, Catherine Parento's partner two, one, two. and great coach. And they got a wedding coming up this summer. We're excited for those two. Oh Bye. man, Zoe, I love the move. Zoe wants that one back for sure. Four, two, one. Great move Second from Brooke serve. Buckner. Four, two, two. Bucket. Wow, Point. short hop drop on that coming forward out of the transition area it was just beautiful from Catherine. That was a crazy reset from AL as well. Yes. Yes. That kitchen. She gets you leaning into the middle and then goes back the other way. And they are loving life. Timeout called on the other side. And when this duo is smiling, that is a bad, bad look for the opponent. They're up 6-2. Opponents just calling timeout. Can they keep it rolling? Wow, great defense Point. of the poach from Brooke and then sailed a ball well wide. Seven two two. Side out. And you won't see many of those, that's for sure. No, we talked a lot about the serve with AL uh, this week. Still something she's working on Two, to seven, make it one. more of a weapon. Good hands from all over the place. Wong ended up getting a little successful right there with that forehand in the middle. Three, seven, one. Oh my, Ooh. wow, double bounce, clean winner, three miles an hour. Jeez, we will not see another Four, one seven, of those, one. I would have to bet.
And the other wild part about this is they often play straight up, but this has been very much Anna Lee on the left side of the court in this match and uh, still had the miscommunication, or should I say no communication. Side out. Cannot happen when you're trying to beat yeah. this team. That was three squares up. Yeah, you, you need that a lot higher. Skitter off the tape, they'll take it. That's sorry, not sorry, that's for sure. I mean, look at the take back on that from Zoe. I mean, that is a fully loaded swing. What a great first volley from Zoe. Point. And just eat you up on the dink as you retreat. Yeah, that, that right there is a great Eight spot for Mayo. Oh, she gave the shimmy and the, the fake and then stayed home. And uh, so thank you, everybody. Oh, my. And that's just not kind from the net right there. That's what you get for sorry, not sorry earlier. It goes back the other way. And we are at match point here for Catherine and Anna Lee. So they get the stop. Great movement in the kitchen, though. I really like that from Wong and Buckner. Might be a little late now, but that is a good adjustment. Just blew the fastball by Brooke Buckner right there. And it all started off with the third was just a little too high and just kind of automatically started them in a disadvantaged position. Rope on the third, hits the tape. Try number three to close this one out. And they do not get to the kitchen either time and the groan of the crowd. Now let's see what this push from Wong and Buckner shows us. taking full cuts like that is just scary. There, there's not much you can do on those. So firing through the middle and again, Buckner sitting on that. So that's that uh, new partner that problem. Fourth match point right here. Flick goes well Second deep, third. so this is the only place they've struggled in this match is closing it out and getting that 22nd point. Game point Ten five. Uh, AL Fire. goes with a one-handed flick through the middle, and Zoe said, nuh uh. Wong has definitely done a better job protecting the middle of this game, for sure. Second serve. They just can't do anything when serving. Four ten two. Point. Five, ten, 
two. Love that play. It's Stanley Cup final tonight. Pass the puck off of your opponent to your partner, just like Catherine did right there. Match point six. Ooh. So will it be lucky seven? And that Fire. won't get it done either. Wow. And it almost looks like they're having a little bit miscommunication with uh, Anna Lee and Parento right now. Yeah, that was just ugly there. That Somehow was... Catherine got one back. Yeah. Flip side though, it's like you said, they cannot get anything started on the serving right now. So what do you do? Hit a high serve, rip one, there's sort of a half speed one. Another pull from the center. Oh, yeah. Okay. Magic eight ball, perhaps. We will see. Okay. Number nine. That's four. Ten, five, two. Five. Wow. Wow. We are going to hit double figures here. Can Brooke and Zoe five, just ten, put a little scoreboard pressure on them and then they'll really be thinking about it? That's a good point, though, from Buck yes. and Wong. They were in the advantage almost the entire Five, point. Two. Really just unfortunate shot at the end, but I like that play. Oh, man. Okay, folks, we have reached double-digit match points here. This is number 10. I'm almost, if I'm Anna Lee and Parento, I might even call a timeout just with how many match points we've had. Oh no, and a pump fake from Zoe is how they finally get it done. So Catherine and Anna Lee were unbelievable for the first 21 points, struggled to get the 22nd, but they get it done 11-3, 11-5, moving on to the semifinals. Welcome to the Pickler, where everything's better. Everything's better at the Pickler. Everything's better at the pickup. Hey, Al, you guys were unbelievable for 21 of the 22 <laughs> points, and then it took you 10 to get out the door. What in the world was going on there? I think the first couple, we were just trying to be too creative, and then we got in our heads a little bit, and then Catherine started yelling in French as she was hitting the ball. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think they only scored one point while we had, like, 10 yeah. side outs. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, I told Catherine I'm glad they missed that last shot because I don't know if we could have won that last point. <laughs> oh, yeah, congratulations, Anna Lee and Catherine. And Catherine, normally in your guys' partnership, you guys play a little bit more straight up. What was the strategy behind you being more on the right side? Yeah, I feel like we've been playing with me on the right side and Anna Lee on the left for the past couple tournaments, and we feel pretty confident that way. Um, we feel like it's maybe the best way to go forward. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we can both play both sides, so we can always change. It just depends on the on the on our opponents. AL, I get asked a lot. We see two of the best minds in pickleball, your mom and uh, Athena over there coaching, and they often just talk to one of you. How do you make sure all of the messages aren't a bad game of telephone <laughs> and you're both going out there and going against the same strategy? Yeah, well, I feel like my mom and Athena kind of talk and they know the strategy that they want to tell us, and then they maybe tell it to us in a different way that we receive information. Like, I don't necessarily know how Catherine likes to receive information from Athena, but I know my mom sometimes has to be more direct with me, um, and she doesn't necessarily want to be direct with Catherine, so <laughs> Athena will talk to Catherine and my mom will talk to me. But they're telling us the same strategy, and sometimes it's more of a mental thing, like Catherine or I will 
or I will be in a little bit of a slump, and they'll just kind of be telling us some mental stuff to kind of get out of that. So, uh, yeah, I think we're lucky to have both of them on our bench for sure.